Hi everyone, in this video we are going to create a virtual machine, Windows 10 virtual machine using VMware vCenter server appliance and uh, in our previous videos we have installed this VMware ESXi host and uh, then we installed this VMware vCenter server appliance and today we will be creating virtual machine in this host but for that we will be using this centralized platform, centralized management platform that is VMware vCenter server. So here uh, we can see that this is the data center. In this data center, we have the uh, we have we created first cluster, and within that cluster, we have this host that is ESXi host, and this IP address is actually the IP address of this ESXi host. So now to create virtual machine, we just click uh, here, right click there, and then click here. Okay, maybe select new virtual machine. And when we select new virtual machine, a window appears and here we have to give different options. We have to select different options. So first option is to select a creation type. We can see there are different creation types. We can create from template, maybe deploy from template, clone an existing virtual machine, clone virtual machine to template. So these are other options which maybe we'll be exploring in our future videos. But at the moment we want to create a new virtual machine. So I just selected that and click next. And the second option to select is select a name in folder. So now we have to give the name of the virtual machine we will be creating. So you can give any name. For me, I'm giving it a name of Windows 10 because I'll be creating Windows 10 virtual machine. And then this is select a location for virtual machine. So for my virtual machine, this is the location which I'm selecting because in my case, I have only one uh, host here, ESXi host, and I also have one data center here. So I have selected this. And click next and then select a compute resource so that's compute resource is ESXi machine for me so within data center in the and uh, within the cluster we have this host I'm going to select that as it is and then we have to select storage and in the case of storage also we have a storage on ESXi, ESXi that is data store and this should show us data stored in a few moments. Yes, so you can see here we have this uh, VM uh, storage policy which I'm selecting default. And uh, then we have this, uh, maybe we can disable this, disable storage DRS, distributed resource, like resource scheduler, I think. For the virtual machine at the moment, we are not selecting it. And then this is the data store which we are selecting. We just click here and then we select next here. And then select compatibility. So select compatibility for the virtual machine depending on the host new environment. So we have this VMware ESXi that is 8.0. So I'm selecting this. But if you have different ESXi host, then you can select as per your machine. For me, this is ESXi. 8.0 so I just selected that and click next and uh, now we have to select the guest operating system which we'll be installing so in my case as I mentioned I'll be using Windows so you can select Linux or other so in my case Windows and click next and here in this option we have to customize this hardware so again we have VM options we have advanced parameter which we are not selecting at the moment and here how many CPUs we are allocating for this virtual machine, what is the memory size, what is the new hard disk size and the important point here is that from where this machine will be getting the ISO file. So our ISO file is available on data store and so for that we have to click there and here we have to select data store ISO file. And how to upload this ISO file on data store I have already made a video on that but now data store is there we click there and this is the file which we uploaded that is the ISO file ISO file of Windows 10 and click OK and now we have a connect at power on yes and this ISO file we selected and then just click next and now we just have to click on finish and now you can see this windows 10 appears here so now this is the virtual machine we have 
created but now we have to install windows 10 operating system on, on top of that so we click on windows 10 here and then we have to power on this machine if we click on action so at the moment you can see it says that power off we click on action and select power and here we have option of option to power on this machine and now you can see after a wait of few moments we can see it's windows 10 and now we can maybe click on uh, launch remote console or we maybe we can click on launch web console so if we click on web console it should open in a new window now this is in windows 10 so the same like this will appear here and from here we can actually have a better view of that that what we are supposed to do so we just have to click like now this is normal windows we say we press enter here and uh, you can see this is uh, this should start installing the rest of the steps for us now we just have to press enter and now you can see with this windows 10 starts and this logo shows that now the installation process for windows 10 has been started and you can see the same thing here as well so here you can also see this thing and also this so this is the window which we just uh, opened using this launch web console so this is the same thing but as per my uh, the speed of the laptop it may take some time and uh, yeah we need to be patient in this case because uh, we have very slow machine with us And now this is asking us to select the language so maybe again we can simply click on view full screen there and then we click next so this is the steps which we are normally do in our windows installation click next install now setup is starting we accept the license agreement and then we click next click there and then we click next now the installing windows uh, for that copying files is a zero percent it may take some time as i mentioned that we are I mean I'm using really slow laptop here it may take some time but these are the simplest steps which we use for the installation of a Windows operating system and previous were the steps which uh, were related with the uh, with the steps required on VMware vCenter server appliance domain join instead press enter here we can give any name here and then we click next password Uh, we are not selecting anything here I can maybe just accept it and 
then we say not now Okay, finally, you can see that our Windows 10 machine is ready to be installed using VMware vCenter server appliance. And uh, maybe we can make so the rest of the things are similar, uh, which we do in our normal installation of Windows 10. So, okay, that's it. And thank you, thank you for your time. Hope to see you in some other video.